all your nonsense, bullshit, Republican and fucking khaki pants talk <laughs> about we have to stop playing God. It's not our place to play God be we, we, you know, between abortion and cloning and all this shit. You're playing God every time you try to tell someone when they're ready to fuck. Because God already told you when you're ready to fuck. When you start producing sperm and you stop start bleeding like a fucking speared pig. Yeah, that's when you're ready to fuck. Sperm and blood, yeah, the menstruation. Yeah, that's when God... Or we can say nature if you're logical, but for the rest of you, we'll go with your God. That's when you're ready to fuck. Yeah, it's dirty, but it's true. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying they should fuck someone my age, but nature takes care of that, too. I don't want to fuck a 13-year-old for the same reason I don't want to fuck a 20-year-old sorority girl. They're annoying. <laughs> yeah, nature takes care of it. Quit calling the government, you fucking cunts. Government need a babysitter. I don't want to fuck a 20 year old for the. I want to sit there. And then nothing to say. Michelle Wee, do you know Michelle Wee, the golfer? Fucking hot. Asian chick. She's an Asian chick golfer. It's fucking tall drink of fucking Asian. Tall drink of fucking yellow rust water. <laughs> hot. And you see a picture, you go, I want to fuck her. Then you find out she's 15, and you go, oh, fuck, I guess I'm a child molester. You go, I don't, but then you hear her talk. She signs an endorsement deal for a fucking $3 million or whatever, and the ESPN covers her, and they go, what are you going to do with the money? And she goes, I never can, I'm going to save the world. And you go, all right, now I don't want to fuck you. Yeah, nature took care of that. Not a law, not fucking government intervention in my space and on the internet. Yeah, nature. It's fucking sad. I've lived a fucked up life. 15 year old pussy is not gonna get me hard. Fucking professional pussy has a hard time. Like, all right, I gotta fucking. I'm, I'm making you work, I know. <laughs> I know, whore, you haven't dealt with this yet, but. <laughs> you've been in the business, it's time to step up. Once you've had that weird drug sex, like the fucked up MDMA riddled uh, anything goes kind of sex with someone you're not going to see again, she's doing bumps off your cock, or she's having to fucking squeeze enough blood in to keep the bump from falling in the toilet, she's gonna, having to fucking cradle your cock like a baby in her palm because otherwise it's going to drop down the bump will fall off but you keep fucking anyway with a you know, sex toy shit that's not even sex toys it's just shit from the dollar store but it'll fit so it's a sex toy now get it in there get up on top of me 69 and bite on my scrot sack while I put two thumbs in your ass and drink flat champagne out of your coos that kind of sex is hard to top <laughs> fucking 15 year old Michelle Wees aren't gonna be up for this job I know that nature took care of that inventorying the anal beads afterwards so you know you didn't leave something behind I think there were six on this string weren't they you check you I'll check me I got glow-in-the-dark anal beads, which are fantastic if there's ever a power outage and you can't find your asshole. <laughs> That's a homeowner's delight, because you can't call the landlord about that problem. <laughs> I don't know if that... You know it's fucked up sex when you have to use the safe word and you're the aggressor. That's tough. <laughs> Baby, honey, say blue dolphin. Blue dolphin, honey, your snatch just fell straight out of your pajamas. It's on my shoe. You didn't say nothing. <laughs> I've had my dick in some fucked up places. I'll tell you about one and then I'll go. I believe I've tested your patience. My favorite thing I stuck my dick in. <laughs> my favorite for comedy purposes. It's called a rubber fuck my face. It was a gift. I get a lot of smut gifts. 
because I talk dirty and stuff, so people think it's funny to give you a smut gift. Like I got, I got a penis pump once as a gag gift, you know, joke present. I got an inflatable sheep. Shit, they give you for Christmas and they laugh. Oh, they're, you're dirty, so we thought this was dirty. We were at Spencer Gifts, so we don't have imagination. And you laugh. You go, ha, 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 okay, inflatable sheep. And it's funny, but there's only so long shit like that can hang around your apartment before you have to stick your dick in it, right? It's kind of like the cat or the VCR taunting you every day. Come on, try me. So I get this thing. I'm in Madison, Wisconsin. Listen to this story. I'm in Madison. I'm in Madison, Wisconsin. It's seven, eight years ago, whatever. It's my birthday. I'm working there. It's a one-nighter. And my friend Tim Mitchell is working with me. He's a comic. And he knows it's my birthday. So on stage, they buy me this rubber fuck my face as a gift. It's a actual, that's the actual title of the product, rubber fuck my face. It's a, it's a gelatinous head. Looks like the look, look, looks like the styrofoam head your grandma had put a wig on. No, it's it's featureless, but it's it's clear latex and it has the open mouth, <laughs> welcoming mouth, and there's a the mouth goes in, the hole goes up, and it kind of curves up through the top of the head to the back. The crown at the back of the head where there is a Kennedy exit hole where you put the vibrating egg. There's a vibrating egg. You know, most ladies, you know, the smut toys, most of them come with the chrome egg on a cord with a control that you control how fast it vibrates. And then you put the egg in the Kennedy hole. It makes the whole head vibrate to make it realistic. That's what it says on the side of the box. Realistic, vibrating, rubber fuck my face. Like, real, like maybe you have some epileptic fantasy or you have some weird rape issue where you want to pretend she's scared shitless. You better shake for me, cunt. I'll cut your fucking eye out. I'm a dangerous man. I'm a fucking bad man. Whatever. They give this to me on stage. They make a big presentation out of it, and they give it to me, and ha, 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 here's your rubber fuck my face, happy birthday. And, and I get off stage, and it's just me alone with my rubber fuck my face, <laughs> trying to get some happy birthday pussy, and no one will fuck me. So I go home alone with my rubber fuck my face. I shuffle back to the motel, and I get in a room, and I look at her. <laughs> And she looks at me. She put on something pretty. I turned on porn, whatever. That's. But no, I go, I'm going to fuck the thing. Because, uh, yeah, what do I get to lose? <laughs> Someone going to find out. <laughs> and my dick wouldn't fit in it. It's not my dick. It's a manufacturing flaw. I have a small dick. My dick wouldn't fit in it because over in Hong Kong... Oh, I get no pussy. No one get no pussy. How you like this, Joe? I get your dick in here. Find about that. <laughs> the fucking mouth is like a bottleneck. And keep in mind, I'm not packing maximum density in anticipation of a rubber fuck my face. It's not. It's not like I'm walking home swinging hard lumber. I can't wait to get you. I've had my eye on you all night, baby. You got me so worked up. Now, I know, I'm half whiskey dicked. I'm trying to thumb soft cock in there. Hoping to get hard on the inside. Just trying to mushroom it in and then hope for a boner against the odds. And, and then when I, I get kind of a boner, it had like little rubber nub teeth things on the inside of the neck that are supposed to sensitize. No, it fucking hurt. It's got sensitized. Yeah, it fucking hurts. If there's one benefit to an artificial blowjob, it would be the no teeth part, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? But oh, no, 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 no. Disgruntled Dong Lu over in a sweatshop doing line work. Oh, oh, here you go. You get your dick in here, Joe. Booby chap, how you like that? I think I start to get a boner and it spit my dick out all half purple. Like, ah, oh, fuck. 
I'm all hammered in the middle of the night. You, you start jacking off in weird ways like that. You, you gain a level of commitment with every minute that goes by. I'm going to finish, you motherfucker. I'm going to fuck you sideways. I'm going to try to spin it on there with corkscrew action. Put some English on it and zing and spin it. What the fuck do you do? What do you do? You spend an hour and a half on your birthday trying to jack off into a rubber fuck. This is a top shelf item. This is a, someone spent a lot of money thinking of you. This is a, it's not some point of interest bag of lotion you just hammer off into and then chuck away. This is like a $129 realistic vibrating rubber fuck my motherfucking face. And you just spent an hour and a half of your life trying to fuck it in the middle of the night because it's your birthday. What do you do? Exactly. You throw the rubber fuck my face to the side and you jack off the old-fashioned way with that vibrating egg in your asshole. I thought the exact same thing. Who cares? It's my birthday. And it wasn't bad. Didn't quite get to the prostate like you like, but it was still tingly and fun enough in the sphincter to fucking draw goop. But here's where the problem turned up problem came hours later my friend tim mitchell who gave me the rubber fuck my face to begin with he comes back to the motel staying in the same motel and he bangs on my door i'm long since done it's not like it's still going on over yeah you feel dirty but that goes away <laughs> he comes into my room and he's just sits down on the bed and he's just bullshitting, talking about the show and the fucking where we're driving to tomorrow, whatever. Just small talk. And he's sitting on the bed and there's a small piece of paraphernalia of some sort on the foot of the bed. And as he's talking, just as an aside, he flicks it with his finger. He goes, what's that? And he flicks it. And it goes... <laughs> and it sticks to the wall. <laughs> you know what it was? It was poop. 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 Oh, poop. Evidently, when I yanked the vibrating egg out of my anus, a small dollop of poop trailed after it like a needy child. And now it's sitting at the foot of the bed. It's splattered all over the hotel wall. It's, it's all over Tim Mitchell's face. <laughs> And he wants an answer. <laughs> dude! Oh! Dude, that's shit! S seriously, that's shit! Oh my, that was shit I just flicked it again! I got no excuse at all. I have no reason. I'm usually quick with an excuse. You want me to help you move a piano up three flights of stairs? Oh, I just had spinal surgery, but I, I have no excuse for why there's a lump of semi-warm poop on a freshly made hotel bed. So I just went, I don't know. And I went on with the conversation. What kind of gas mileage you get in that Pontiac? Like, like, I don't know, maybe that's just the way I party and you're weird for not having poop on your bed. I said, oh, I'm, Oh, it's my only game at that point. I had to bluff. You don't have poop. Come on. They leave that there like a mint. What, are you in coach? <laughs> yeah, I'm a sick fuck and I'm leaving, but it's you. You need me, you motherfuckers. Frown on me now. <laughs>